Okay, I'm going to work with problem 5 on page 172. Um, let me go ahead and write my answer section right here. Okay, let's just take the root of the first term. That's going to be the, an the first answer. It's 2x squared, the first root in our answer. And then we're going to subtract this just out of the problem. It's out of the picture. Okay, let's bring down... I just made up that whatever. I'm just trying to show you. It's just... I'm not thinking about that one right now. Okay, we're going to bring down these two. Um, 4x cubed minus 11x squared. So this is our remainder. So um, let's write in our trial divisor right here. And our complete divisor right here. Okay, let's separate these out. And let's find the trial divisor. It is twice the latest root that we found. So this is the latest, this is the only root we found so far. Twice of that is um, 4x squared. And then you take that trial divisor and divide your first remainder by it. So 4x cubed divided by 4x squared. The 4s will cancel, the x's will cancel, leaving just 1x at the top. Um, so that is what we put into here, x. Now we're moving on to finding the complete divisor. The complete divisor is twice the root already found, twice this, 4x squared, plus um, the latest root you just found, x. That is our complete divisor. Now you take the latest root you found and you multiply it by each term in that complete divisor. So x is what we've just found. We're going to multiply it by all of these. x times 4x squared is 4x cubed. x times x is x squared. Let's see what will cancel out of here. The 4s will cancel, but this will not cancel. But you know what? That's okay because this is a longer version of these kind of problems. We're going to be bringing these two down. Okay, so we've got negative x squared and negative 11 x squared. That's going to leave us with twi negative 12 x squared minus 6 x plus 9. Okay, and what we do in these problems, this um, first term, for some reason, is immediately kind of just not counted. You, you don't worry about it. So that one's kind of out of the picture. Um, now we're going to write down our slots to put um, child divisor right here and complete divisor okay so first thing we're going to do we're not thinking about this one the, the trial divisor is going to be two times now not the first root but the latest root that you found so 2x um, but we do go ahead and write what it used to be right we write it like this 4x squared plus 2x, okay? So we're going to take that 2x, just the 2x, and divide our first part of the remainder, because this one, remember, is out of the picture. The first term gets out of the picture. Um, no, we didn't have to just find the root like we did for here. For some reason, this is just the process they found that works. You just are not thinking about the first term right now. So anyway, negative 6x divided by twice the root, the latest root, is negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3, the x's cancel. So negative 3 is our latest answer. Now for our complete divisor, we're going to also write down just the first term that we've already found for the complete divisor. And then we're also going to write down twice the latest root. See how the complete divisor always kind of overlaps the child divisor? And then we're going to write the latest term we found. This is our complete divisor. Our last step of the problem is to take our last root answer, negative 3, and multiply it by every term in this last complete divisor. I'm just going to write a negative 3 here so we can just look at it like this. Okay, negative 3 times 4 is negative 12x squared. See, I didn't want to completely cancel this out because we're using it in the last step to just compare and make sure it all zeroes out. So negative 12x squared, and then we're going to multiply this one, negative 6x, matching up so far, and positive 9. 
All right, so it matches perfectly. So when we subtract, that will cancel because it's a positive on the bottom and a negative on top. That will cancel, same reason. And this will cancel. So everything is canceled. Our answer then is going to be plus or minus 2x squared plus x minus 3. How about that? All right.